The other day I said that CPAP titration studies were a little bit of a scam and a few of you picked up on that comment and just asked me to clarify what I meant by that. So for those of you that don't know, a CPAP titration study is normally used for those of you on fixed pressure machines where your machine is set to one set pressure. And back in the day, they're still doing, doing them now, but back in the day, you'd go into the hospital, they'd wire you up, and then throughout the night, you'd have someone sitting there, a sleep scientist, a sleep tech, manually adjusting your CPAP pressure throughout the night to find the best pressure to control your sleep apnea. And the reason I think it's a little bit of a scam is, A, you can kind of do it yourself now. You really can. The machines have all the data you need to be able to adjust your CPAP pressure when you need to. But B, setting your CPAP machine to one set pressure based on such a small sample size, that being one night in an unfamiliar bed, in a hospital or lab with all those wires over you, with someone watching you sleep, is not a great way to determine your pressure. Because the truth is, your pressure requirements change every night. It is very rare to find a night where your pressure requirements will be exactly the same. And we'll head into the office now and I'll show you some real data from an auto set machine, an automatic machine, that shows you exactly what I mean by this. All right, let's do it. Okay, so for this example, we're quickly gonna look at three nights of consecutive CPAP data from the 6th to the 8th of September. Now on the 6th, you can see the CPAP pressure. This is the pressure changing over time. And it's changing due to sleep apnea. So if the person's having sleep apnea, it goes up. If their breathing's good, it comes down. But through the night, the pressure changes because they're on an automatic machine. Now the max pressure for this night, if we look over here, was 15. All right, it's capping out up here. You see it's capping out at 15. Now if we go to the 7th, which is the night after on the Tuesday, the max was only 14 here, 14.14. You can see it's not capping out, but the pressure's changing again throughout the night. Got up to go to the toilet here, pressure changing. If we go one more night to the eighth, the pressure's now below 13, 12.8. All right, once again, it's changing throughout the night. So on three consecutive nights, three different max levels. So you can clearly see from this example, if you went in for your hospital titration study on the Monday the 6th, you're probably walking out with a CPAP set to 15. Yet two days later, if you went in on the Wednesday, you're walking out with a CPAP set to 13. Two centimeters of difference, and that is quite a big difference when it comes to CPAP pressure. And most of the time what I find is when you go in for those lab studies, those titration studies, 90% of the time, they're over titrated. The people walk out with CPAP machines set with their pressure too high. That's what I find. And that's the beauty of an auto machine is that it varies the pressure minute by minute throughout each and every night. So you get this really lovely tailored therapy. And you also end up with an average pressure that's much lower than if you were to set the pressure up at these peaks, which is what they'd probably do if you were setting a set pressure. There's all these times throughout the night here, 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 where you don't need all that pressure. You only need that, that high pressure a couple of times throughout the night, here, here, here. And the goal for me as a, as a CPAP tech, a sleep tech, is to get the pressure as low as possible because it helps with all these, these leaks and it also helps make the therapy much more enjoyable to use. It's much quieter, less side effects. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. I do encourage you to learn how to adjust your own CPAP pressures, how to read and understand the data, which will guide you on how to get the best night's sleep possible. Take care, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.